All right, now that we got one side made, we're gonna kind of copy that other that for the other side. The sides are not identical, but they're close enough. We're gonna do kind of a copy here. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna bend our 90 degree on the tip here and check to see that the place where it goes is clear and it is not. So let's take our pin vise and clear that hole up. A little easy drill here. So far I haven't broke this bit today so that's a good thing. Alright, we drilled all the way through there. Okay, now let's check again. I think we, this is our fourth wire that we've used. And we may have to open another pack to get some more wire. Alright, okay. It sits in there all the way like it should. Now how are we going to secure these when we're done? We are going to use this white glue. Okay. We're going to use white glue because it dries clear. And it'll hold them in place. And then someday later, when we decide we need to rebuild this thing again, we will be able to remove the handrails without, without a whole bunch of trouble. All right, now, let's match her up to this guy right here. And I do believe we will take our Stetler. Get that where you can see it. Okay, and let's make a mark. Let's, let's get this in the camera so you can actually see what I'm doing. Now let's make a mark so these two handrails are roughly the same. Not because they need to match, because they're on different sides, so they don't have to match really that well. Yeah, I'm like that. Let's make our mark. Roughly about here is where we want to bend. There we go. Got a nice mark. Nice mark right there. All right, now... We're not just going to go ahead and bend this because chances are we're going to bend it in the wrong direction. So let's put it back in here and figure out which way we're going to go. And we're going to go that way. All right. So let's go ahead and grab our pliers here. All right. So we got it in the pliers now. We are going to look at it. Let's look at it alongside the locomotive. We need to bend it that way that way. Toward, so if I flip it over it's got to be bent towards me. All right, so let's give it a bend. 90 degrees. We get it? That's That ain't bad. Ain't bad right there. We already know from testing the other side that we got it at the right height. And what, all we need to do now is make a mark and bend the little up bend. Line up good enough. That is all we need. That is close enough. When we solder this thing, it is going to be, it'll be much more in shape. So that is where we're going to go with that. All right, let's, let's move on to the other handrails. All right, guys, check this out now. Let's see if you, I don't know if you can see this. Let's get it in the camera here. Okay, take a look at this. This is going to be the front handrail and we put a nice little bend in it. Don't have to but we did and she's going to fit in here like this. There's a hole here and now we've got it bent using the Mark 1 eyeball. That's your best tool man. The Mark 1 eyeball. Now we're just going to mark it where we want to then the bottom of it and then we will be done with that one so I'll make a mark right about there you can see that you probably can't see that good these marks are really tiny so make a mark mark it up good all right now I'm gonna take the pliers again okay now let's figure out here did I mark it so I bend on the mark or after the mark? Looks like it's going to be after the mark. So I'm going to line it up in my pliers. The mark just inside. 
Now let's let's just straighten it out just a little bit. And we're going to put our 90 degree bend on here. Just like that. And I'll tell you what, the more I do this, the more I wonder how the heck did I ever do this when I use piano wire because I used to do this a lot with piano wire and piano wire is really hard to bend. All right, now let's just snip it a little bit. Remember we wanted our kind of our point one inch. So I'm gonna just take my cutter here and I'm gonna snip it right. I'm gonna leave it a little bit long. I could do some fancy bends with this, make it into a much fancier handrail, but I don't think we need to do that. Let's just make it, let's just keep it kind of simple. And let's fit her on here. There we go. Alright, now, she's going to fit. She's going to fit like this, and I'm going to have to trim it after I solder it so I don't have a big piece of brass sticking through the window. And as you can see, it ain't perfect, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Because once it's soldered up, it's going to be decent. And that's all we're going for. It's just good enough. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. So we've got both of them ready. Get out the tweezers here. Um, Got our both of our front ones here. So here's one. You can see that. And here's the other one. Now, on these front ones with this brass wire, you can get really fancy if you want to on these bends. You can bend them all over the place. You can get a prototype picture. Look how they bend them. This wire is pretty easy to work with. You just take a longer piece. Take a little longer piece and just start bending all over the place if you want to. I've made some really fancy loops and stuff before and some really cool bends. This is stuff super easy to work with. But for today, let's just do the basic. And we're going to stick with that. All right, earlier I set aside eight stanchions that are not bent. And these are for the front where we drilled holes straight down through the anti-climber that I built earlier. Remember I just made this out of L, some L channel plastic uh, super glued it on there. I didn't even file off the little line there because it doesn't really matter we're not going to see that. And then I, I shaped these with the disc sander. And it's just a nice handy tool really is you can do it with a file. I used to do it with a file all the time. But what we're going to do here is these stanchions and you know somewhere I read from advice from a master modeler who said one of the most important skills is get some good tweezers and learn how to use them well I got some good tweezers I got them off eBay they weren't very much money but I ain't learned how to use them that good yet so these stanchions we just gonna stick in the hole here and they're probably gonna fall all the way through which they are. We're actually going to glue those in place and I think we can probably go ahead and do that right now. I don't see, they just fall right through. No big deal, we just glue them in place. And to, the glue we're going to use on those, we will go ahead and use super glue on those. Hopefully we won't need to remove them anytime soon. Um, well, actually, we. We're not going to glue them. I changed my mind. Let's not glue them because we're going to, it doesn't matter how long they are. Man, I already forgot my plan. But my plan is that we don't need to glue them because we're going to solder them. Then we will use the white glue like I said before. Uh, that way they're going to be easy to paint. We are going to paint our handrails. We are going to paint them with a the primer black. So let's do that instead. And we'll go ahead and make a front handrail. All right, let's take a look at our B36-7 here and figure out how this front handrail is going to be made. Now, as you can see right here, they have a cutout. I'm not going to do the cutout at this time. We can do it if we want to. If we had some chain we could put there, we could do that once it's soldered. But I think we're just going to leave it for now. That'll be good enough. 
what I did not do before was make these holes right here. This is where the handrail goes in. You see it? We go in and come up. It's a pretty simple bend, and we're just going to mark one eyeball this too. We're not going to get real fancy. We go ahead, and mark one eyeball it, and drill some holes, roughly at. See what we got here. One, two, three. We got one, two, three, four steps, and it is between. Is after number two and before number three. So that's how we're going to do it. We're just going to eyeball that hole at between the second and third step. That's it. All right, we got our holes in place. That's where we're going to put them. Now, most people who do this, they do their handrails way back in the paint strip stage. And I didn't do that on this one. Um, I wanted to do the body first. And in our build here, our super simple build, it's not going to matter. It's going to be just fine that we do the handrails after it's all painted. I even gloss coated it a little bit. Um, we still got to put the little F on the front here. You got to have your F. And we got some Fs that we'll get decaled on there. But now we got our holes for our front and rear handrail. So we're just going to start bending these. Mark one eyeball all over again. And we're just going to bend it and see what we end up with here. All right, guys, so here's the thing. I don't like the way this turned out. It didn't turn out quite as good as I wanted, but we've got the basic shape right here. So what we want to do is we want to lower it, and we want to straighten it out. And we're going to do that right here on the cutting board with these lines so we can line it up a little bit better. So now... The first thing we need to do is let's undo the bottoms here. Let's let's shorten it. We'll take the lineman pliers and we'll just unbend it. Now the one thing we want to be careful about is we do too much bending on this brass, it gets weak. Alright. So we got that guy unbent. Now let's unbend this guy. So we'll just unbend him. You can get very precise doing this if you want to and have no mistakes. But look, if you really want to learn how to make nice handrails and stuff, don't worry about the mistakes. You're going to make them and then you're going to fix them and it's going to be all right. And like I said, okay, so let's let's line it up here. It's obviously wait one side is much longer than the other. Now let's take our let's take our ruler. We're gonna do some measuring this time. We want that guy. Remember what did we say? We want him we want him five five. So five five. We want him about even with this grab iron right here, right? So we want him about even with that. And so we go down here, we see, even with that grab iron, using my eyeball skills, we need to go to, oops, you can't see that. Now let's, let's do it this way. All right, so going down, let's, let's zoom in here. Let's get you all zoomed in. All right, let's get a close-up if we can. There we go. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to take the ruler and we're going to measure, see that hole? Somewhere across here. We're, and we're not being super precise in this. And it looks to me like that hole is at about four or so. Is that about right? It's somewhere around four. If you can't see that. There, somewhere around four. That's point four inches. I like working in the in the hundreds and tenths scale, it makes it a lot easier. And we want to go, so we're at point four, and we want to go up to another roughly point four. So we're at point four on the bottom. Up to here is point seven. We want to go four, so we're going to be at one point one. 
I'm going to be from 0.4 to 1.1. All right, let's line that up on the let's line that up on the table here. See what we got. So we can move these stanchions out of the way. There's our straight ones. All right, so let's let's check it out here. So we said we wanted to go from 0.4. So I'm going to line up 0.4 on the line up to 1.1. All right, so we want to be right about there. Okay, so that means we want to put our bend, our inward bend, right at point four. About see if I get that. Right about there, we're gonna bend in right there. Let's get him back on the table here. Alright, he's getting really beat up now. But, and we missed it too, didn't we? We're still off. Alright, let's get this guy fixed up here. We're going to mark it this time. Sometimes the old Mark 1 eyeball needs some help. And we're going to give it right now. This one is going to have a really beat up look to it because it's going to be all bent all over the place and that's the way handrails sometimes are they ain't always straight and we're going to mark it this time we are going to mark it at point one we're going to do right here right on the line so after the mark you see after the mark mark that guy there straight across on this line here if we are level, and it looks like we are, we're going to mark him right there. Alright, so let's make these bends. We're going to bend in and zoom out a little bit. Alright, so we're going to make these bends in. Bend that guy. bend this guy now we're way too long right too long but do we have a match that is the question did we make it a match I think we did I think we made it let's just check it out here and be down here it's not gonna be bad it's actually being pretty decent. Okay. So let's zoom way out. So we can see again. How are we going to do this? Now, how are we going to do this? We need these guys to line up on these holes here. First, we're going to unbend the ends. All right, so obviously we used way more wire than what we needed for this. But that was okay. It was just a piece of scrap anyways. And we are going to end up with some beat up ends, and that's just fine. Makes it look a little more real. No U36B is going to be perfect. It's going to have some, definitely have some wear and tear on it. So we are going to have a little bit of wear and tear. This is a hard working locomotive. All right, now, where are we going to make that bend? I think we're going to hold it on here, just like that. And I think we're going to mark it. And we are going to mark it right there. And we're going to mark it right here. All right. Get it down here, see if we can clean up our mark. All right, let's check it. Let's let's check this time so we don't have we're getting too many bends in this thing. Let's see if it's gonna if that mark looks right. And I would say we bend after on this side. 
and we will bend before on this side. So let's remember that. This side we are going to bend before the mark. Okay. So we're going to get the mark outside the pliers. Right there. And which way are we going to bend it now? That's the question. Okay. So we're going to bend it in. Right? We're going to bend it in. And this one we're going to bend after the mark. We're going to bend that guy in. All right. So we got him bent. Let's check him out here. We can cut that wire off if you if it's good. All right. Now does it look a little low? I don't know. It looks a little low to me. But I think we're going to keep it. It's right underneath the midway sign. So we're going to keep it. Let's trim it. Let's trim it, and then we're going to copy it. So we're going to trim it like this. All right, and we're going to make sure we get rid of the little pieces so they not get mixed up with our other stuff. And we're going to trim this guy. Now this guy... This guy's going to be somewhat tricky to solder. I don't know how we're even going to do that yet, but we'll figure it out. Since I made those holes pass through on the top there, let's place him. All right. There. There he is. And that is our first one. Now we're going to copy it. And we're going to the second. The copy is probably going to be better than the original. 